Well, hello, my tribal brothers and sisters, and welcome back to Fallout 2. In the last video, we rescued Sulik's sister. Sulik redeemed himself by not being 100% worthless in combat, and we have made a new family. Um, well, not really a new family for ourselves, but we have joined a new family, this tribe here. Uh, we're going to reload. Actually, no, I'm not, because I am basically out of ammo. This... This is not good. So basically the only gun I have ammo for, I think I like the word basically right now, is either that combat shotgun that Sulik has or the Desert Eagle. I'm going to be doing inventory here in a minute. But for now, we're going to rest until everyone's healed up. Which is going to take a while. Oh, I need to stretch. This has been another long session, but I just love this game too much. And some of you are like, well, if you loved it so much, why didn't you ever want to Let's Play it? Mm, I've had my reasons. But now that I am Let's Playing it, I don't know when I'm going to ever stop. I honestly cannot tell you. Um, Sulik. What you be need? Let's see, I need to do a bit of trading with you, my man. Now, I don't have ammo for that. The H&K Cause or the Combat Shotgun. I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Why don't I just take this and take some jacketed hollow point, take some armor piercing. Let's see, we'll give him. No, I need to keep the shovel. Those That doesn't weigh anything. Take that gun for me. Take that. Take the sniper rifle. I was laughing and giggling like a schoolgirl because I looked at those grenades and crossed my mind for just half a second to take the gek to actually give him that. No, my ranger badge is my ranger badge. That only weighs a pound. I earned that ranger badge. I'm gonna keep it. Um, I think I'm gonna take these shades back. I still don't know what they're for. I did get a comment from somebody today as I uploaded the videos that I should probably keep them. Uh, that I will want those shades, so I will keep them on me, and let's give him half of that, 22, I think I need to balance it out just a little bit more, you got the stem packs, keep that, we're going to go to the Toxic Caves next, now how overloaded are you, really overloaded? Eight pounds overloaded. Eight pounds of bullcrap. I need that back. I need... How much does all this weigh? Um, just... Give me some of these, too. I may not actually need that rope, either. But, I'm not going to get rid of it for now. And, I'm going to drop some items here. Actually, I'm at 125. Okay, so I guess I'm still good. Now, what are these? This is a pair of fashionable and deadly looking mirrored shades. Just having them in your inventory makes you feel cool. That's right. That is 15... To 25... 6... It takes 6 AP to shoot about this? Five, six, six. Takes the same, and that's eight through sixteen. Fifteen through twenty-five. It's probably better for me to try the H and K cause then. The c, -c cause. Let's see. What else? I guess that's it for now. Did I? I gave. No, I didn't give them all. Like, did I really give them all my shotgun ammo? Why do I do stuff like this to myself? Let's put this there. Gonna put armor piercing in. And that puts me overweight, go figure. Okay. Drop. There we go. I feel better, and I know that I've got... St I'm just gonna have stuff stashed all over the place, apparently. Let me go speak to the old elder here. The wise one. The ancient tribal. See what he says now that we've helped that guy. Let's see. Takes a long hit. Anything I can do? Okay, goodbye. 
And I guess I should talk to this guy one more time. The giant warrior nods a greeting as we approach. Welcome back, friend. Do you need something? I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. Of course. Well, you look like you've been through a lot. I was wondering what your story is. He chuckles. <laughs> yes, I suppose I've been through a lot. I come from a tribe far to the north, beyond your own. When I was fifteen, we were attacked by savages. I awoke that day as a boy, but by the time the sun set on that grim scene, I had slayed my way to manhood. Every man, woman, and child was dead, except for me. Ah, but what's life without battle and strife? It either breaks a man, or it forges him into steel. I wear my scars with pride. So, what'd you do then? I piled the bodies and watched them burn into the night, then gathered what I could and went wandering. Spent time with various tribes and fought many battles. Spent a little time amongst the civilized men, but I tired of them quickly. Too many honorless dogs hiding behind their guns. I'd rather enjoy a good battle of flesh and steel. I'm not a complicated man. Give me battles and feasts, wine and women. What else matters in this grim world? You remind me of someone... Uh of a comic book I read as a kid in the tribe. We I think it was Grognak the Barbarian. You, um, were you influenced by him at all? So how'd you end up here? I came here a couple of years ago. This tribe took me in and treated me well. They offered to make me their head warrior, which I obviously accepted. I've enjoyed it here, next to the great salt water, but I feel the wanderlust growing within me. Someday soon, I believe I'll move on and see what the gods have in store for me next. That's an interesting story. Mind if I ask you some other questions? What can you tell me about this village? Let's see. Most members of this village actually hail from three smaller tribes that decided to unite many years ago in order to keep from dying off. It creates an interesting mix of customs and dialects. More importantly, it creates a good mix of women. Beyond that, there's not much to say. It's a simple village where we struggle to forge a simple existence. Okay, anything else going on I could help you with? Actually, we've been having trouble with our well. If you think you could help, go speak to Merley, and he'll fill you in on it. Alright, but I have one more question. Um, can I barter? No. Okay, I'll go see what I can do with the well. Merley, huh? Is that you? Member of the tribe? No. Member of the tribe? Hello, what do you want? Well, I was told you were having some trouble with the well. What's wrong with it? He grimaces. <sighs> Someone stole the rope. I don't know who, but I'd throttle their neck if I did. We've been relying on the rainwater ever since, but that's not nearly enough. We need a new rope so we can get at the water. I don't suppose you've got any outsider? Um... Nope, but I will get some because my buddy Sulik here... What you be need? ...actually does have some. Told you I was carrying that rope around for a reason. I totally knew that it was for this. So take that... And... That... Actually, give me that back. That's a... That's a fair trade. We don't trade in value here, we trade in weight. Got that rope? Yep, as a matter of fact, I do. I'll see if I can fix that well for you. Okay. So I should just be able to use the rope on it, right? Pretty sure. Well, at least it has a working rope now. And I guess, I'm just going to guess, put the bucket on it. Did that work? Maybe I just use it? It's missing its rope and bucket. Well, I tried to use the bucket on it. Maybe I need to talk to this guy first. So, have you fixed the well yet? Sure, I got the rope in place. So? He glances at the well, then snickers. <laughs> what good is a rope if you don't have a bucket attached? Or do you outsiders drink by licking the water off a wet rope? He shakes his head and mutters something under his breath. Look. 
Just reattach the bucket, and I'll see that you're rewarded. Right. I already tried that. Damn it, game. That should just about do it. So yes, I have to get snickered at first and be made fun of. So you fixed the well? With the bucket attached and everything? Yep, it's all done. Great! You know, you outsiders aren't all so bad. After all. Here, take this money. I found this stash in the wastes and we have no use for it. Awesome. I don't know how much it was, probably not, but hey, probably not a lot, but we got 400 experience and even more karma. I'm a defender. I am Batman. Batman of the wastes. Let's see, are we idolized here? We're accepted. That must mean that there's more quests to do. So... Thanks for your help. You already fixed this, remember? You big dummy. Please leave me alone. There's nothing that can be done to save me. Save yourself. Um, I wonder if it's the... F Could it possibly be the fish? The spirits of the fish haunting this guy at night. I don't think it could be. A raw looking fish. If cooked, it would probably make a tasty meal. Can I cook the fish on the fire? No. Oh, music getting a little bit loud here. I'm gonna go talk to their warrior one more time. Let's see, I was wondering if I could ask some questions. Um, never mind. Okay, we're gonna leave now. I don't know exactly where we're gonna go. Actually, I do know where we're gonna start heading to. Let me save it again. What the? Thought for sure I was gonna transfer to the overworld map. And I can only shoot this once. I don't like this gun. Just so you know, I'm all. Oh, it's also because I'm not using jet right now. That's right. Pierce its brain with that awesome sword I gave you. Yeah, I'm not sure I like this weapon. How's it at range? Uh, not too bad. Okay. Got firewood scattered around out here. Brock root and stuff. Not that I need to be collecting Brock flower and Xander root, considering the fact Hanukkah is dead, and he's the only one I know of that could even make healing powder. You scorpions gonna... No, you're gonna run? This is actually pretty effective at range. Okay, good. They're actually gonna come after me. 12 damage per shot, and I can only use it once per turn. I think the only way this would be useful is as crowd control with burst fire. Sulik, don't get in my line of fire or I'll be mad at you. In fact, I aim this at its brain. Awesome. And he finishes it off. Pretty easy experience. Okay. What is that, a throwing knife? Yeah. There's a couple throwing knives around here. There's a shovel. I wonder if they were having problems with these scorpions. There's rats out here, too. Okay. So, look, we're just going to do a little bit of wildlife cleansing here. While I think about what I want to do next, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to try to take us to Vault City so I can continue to work on this cure for Jet. Get some, rat. Sulik decides he wants some of that scorpion up there. Ooh, there's... There's a dead body there. I was not expecting that. How did they... Why did they not tell me that they were missing a villager? Surely they had to notice. Unless they just don't care. Following in the footsteps of my ancestor. The Vault Dweller, the Pied Piper of the Wastelands. Who knows how many thousands of rats fell before his might. There we go, 295 experience. We see a rug and the dead body of a young girl. That is sad. 
You know what? Take your fish, you dead girl. I want your healing powder. It's kind of sad. I honestly wonder why they never mentioned that. That is just weird. It's got to be for a quest or something. I don't know what... No, I'm probably just making shit up. Probably just reading too much into it. Okay, let's get out of here. For real, now there's a shovel. Shovels are all over the place whenever you don't need them. That's right, I also need to swing by the den. Okay, and I do have that equipped. I need to swing by the den so that I can bury... Finish burying that body. Really? I only load it one shell at a time. That seems a bit ridiculous. Slaver camp. Safe house. There's Navarro all the way down there. I'm not heading there. First back to the den. And then we can just go east to Vault City. Rad Scorpion's hiding in some spore plants. No. Nope. It would be easy experience. Some wilders? No. That's tribals that have gone feral. And I really don't want to be killing any more tribals than I have to. And since I got the drop on them, I don't have to kill them. Which makes me feel happy. An unknown encounter. A herd of Brahmin. Holy crap. Zulik was hit for 87 points. Get out of here, Brahmin. I, I shouldn't have... What are they? Exploding Brahmin or something? Mad Brahmin. Zulik, don't go up there. There's landmines or either that or these things explode. No, go away. I think we're gonna die here. Run for it, Zulik! You're too wounded to carry on. Okay, I'm gonna burst on you. Go. Seriously hurting the mutant cow. I'm gonna kill all these Brahmin that I can. Oh boy. They might actually be able to catch up to me. Help. I'm scared. They're gonna get close and blow up. I know it. I think this is like a Diablo reference or something. Maybe, maybe the mad... The, uh... The cow level, perhaps. I guess I might as well use some jet here. See, I've got five. Run for it. I'm only going to do burst attacks on them. Go away. Oh, that's not good. I think they're actually going to get close enough. I hope they don't explode. To be honest, I don't know if they do or not. I don't intend to find out. How close are you to dying? Severely wounded? Do a single shot. Okay, maybe I won't. Do a single shot with this. I should have ran, I think. Okay, so they don't explode. Go for the eyes! There's so many of them, how could you miss? Only... Only 320 experience. Do the Brahmin just keep spawning? You know what, Sulik? Let's just get the hell out of here. I have no idea what that's about. Whenever I upload this in a few days, you guys can tell me. So many in Oh, I could go to the Toxic Caves, too. West side, east side, um... Oh yeah, the east side. And hey, it's nighttime, so I don't even have to wait. Awesome. So... We've got the bones in there. I think that's right. And, uh... Pretty sure, yeah. And now let's use this. We put Anna's bones to rest. The gravesite has been covered. 25 karma and 600 experience. Oh, I can rest easy now. Knowing that we've done that deed. Okay. Reload. Of course, there's items everywhere. I'm not going to bother to loot. Let's just get out of here, because I, I don't think there's anything else here that I want to do. Let's save 
it over this. And where is Vault City? There's Modoc Vault City and Gecko. We haven't been. And there's some place right there. Interesting. We're going to backtrack to the Toxic Caves. And another encounter, a Toxic Waste Dump. Fuck off. I don't think so. I might go there manually on my own and see if I can enter from the edge of the map. But being placed in the very center? Some geckos? Nah. Being placed in the very center is not something that I'm interested in. Okay, so, put you on. Let's try not to get radiation poisoning here, Sulik. Oh, there's a gecko there. I didn't know that I was going to be seeing you already. Otherwise, I would have taken some jet. Go for the groin. No, go for the eyes. Say, so the groin's a good joke, but I think I'll pass. Considering the fact I'm not hopped up on jet right now. Go for the eyes again. Screw you, Gecko. I want to get through here without using jet. Okay. Loot this stuff. Sulik, please don't allow your boots to disintegrate just yet. Take all of it. And once we get over here... I better take this right now. Rad X. Yep. Get my resistance boosted up, and hell, I'll take some jet. Why not? I need it! It's so damn good. No, I didn't want to do that. Why did I accidentally right-click and then left-click? Because I'm an idiot. Okay, amazingly enough, that allowed me to sneak up on the gecko for a point-blank shot to the back of the head. That explodes the gecko. I'm a little bit overpowered for this place. But, not like I have much of a choice. Considering the fact I got distracted and pulled away for so long. Deal with it, gecko scumbag. They're not really scumbags. They can't choose to be what they've become. They're just animals. So, somewhere down here... Is... Smiley... Go for the gecko groin. It's such a huge target. Yup. Did not do as much damage as I was hoping. And Sulik, I'll try to be nice to you. But it would be great if you would keep up. Okay. You made a fatal mistake, gecko. And that's charging after me. No one charges after the plump one. No one turns their back on the plump one. So they only have like 45 health. I'm sure if I had awareness, I'd be able to see that. Okay. Can't hit any of them yet. And I don't want to stand too close to these barrels. They might actually give off radiation. Gecko, I'm gonna kill you. And use your body as a stepping stone to get over the sludge. That would be awesome. If it actually worked like that. But it does not. Wow, Sue looks like, hey, 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 you're getting all the fun here. Give me a turn. Get some. Sulik. I'm going to kill the gecko. Maybe. Okay, maybe I'm not. You have a chance. Okay, he kills it. So. This is where I tried to come so long ago. We see a filthy trapper with torn and blood-stained clothing. He appears to be favoring one leg slightly. Hello there, stranger. People call me Smiley. I'm sure glad to see you. I thought I was going to die here for certain. I'm hurt too bad to get past those damn lizards on my own. What are you doing here? Well, um, uh, see, I, 
it was kind of like this. I always caught more golden geckos north and west of Klamath than anywhere else. So I figured that all the golden geckos lived someplace up here. Well, unfortunately for you, it looks like you were right. Yeah, looks as though I was a little too right. I got in here okay, but then one of them damn geckos got behind me and damn near took my leg off. I just barely made it over here. I wonder why they didn't finish you off. Maybe you taste bad or smell bad or something. Well, I guess they don't like to crawl through the goo too much. I can't say I blame them. It sure burns if it gets on your skin. But that doesn't seem to stop them from licking up the darn stuff like it was Buckner's best. So yeah, they don't mind drinking and eating the stuff, but heaven forbid they walk through it. Interesting. Well, hell, enough gum flapping. Now let's get out of here. I figure that if I can join you, we should both be able to make it out of here okay. I sure could use the help. You know what? Okay. You can join me and Sulik here. I'll make sure you get out of here and back to Klamath. I think Arden's going to be glad to see you again. You've been down here for like six months. Maybe even more. What have you been surviving off of? Okay, we'll come back through here later. However, we're going to go down this way. And kill all the geckos that we come across. Because I want experience. I don't know how much I need to level up. But we're going to get there eventually. And that gecko actually takes off running. I'd be glad, Smiley. If you didn't run and get yourself killed. And I miss at 95% odds. I'm hoping that Smiley is immune to the... Actually, he's got to be immune to the goo. It's in the fact we walked through it. And I didn't see him taking damage. So... Headshot for nine damage. Come on, Gecko. You know you want to die without making me constantly aim at you. You're making me waste my ammo, Gecko. I've only got like 700 rounds of this stuff. I can hit him all the way over there. Critically hit it. Tearing some of its slimy Gecko scales off. There's another one all the way down there. There we go. We hit a vital organ and the gecko finally stops charging. Now, gecko, can I kill you without reloading? I would feel like an accomplished marksman if I could. However... Uh, it's blind and it can't see us. That is hilarious. I probably could have snuck right up next to it, and it wouldn't have known. Now hang on. I'm not radiated. Okay, good. Apparently you only get radiation down here for walking in that gooey crap. I shouldn't be too surprised. We'll come back to here in the next video, actually, and uh, explore what's on the other side of that door. Hey, thanks for saving my sorry ass. I better hightail it back to Klamath. I'll see you there. Take it easy, Smiley. Don't worry about me. I can make it on my own from here. And I'm going to end the video. Whenever we return, we're now a shield of hope. Good lord. Whenever we return, we're going to go back down into this place and see what's on the other side of that door. Because that looked an awful lot like a vault door to me. I've seen a few in my day.